Let's talk about reverse sear steak. Got three nice US choice New York strips seasoned with my secret grub. We're gonna preheat the oven to 275 degrees. We're gonna place them in the oven for 15 minutes or until internal temperature is about 90 degrees for medium rare. Then we're gonna take them out in a preheated cast iron skillet and sear them at the end. So they're all seasoned. God, they look good. But the pan is in the oven and we're preheating it. So it's nice and hot. Over here we have mushrooms and onions, sauteing in butter. That's gonna top the steak. And in the oven they go for 15 minutes with the preheated cast iron skillet. For when the steaks come out of the oven, we're going to put some butter in the cast iron skillet. We're also gonna place probably about a teaspoon of garlic and we're gonna put some thyme. Now, if you have fresh thyme, that's fine. I like the green wise. Um, it's a lot easier. It's a time of the year where it's not growing well out of my spice garden. So this will have to do. We're gonna sear the steak for about two and a half minutes per side. Um, then we're gonna give it a butter bath with garlic in the thyme. As you can tell, it's starting to get a little lighter in color. The thing about reverse searing on a wire rack is the heat draws the moisture out of the edge of the steak so you get a better sear. Man, I can smell this already cooking. We sear them in the pan. Look at that. Don't touch them. Gonna get a nice sear. A garlic, thyme. Smoking, baby. That's how we do it. Backhoe smoking, reverse sear, New York strip. Yeah, come on. Listen to it. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Would you just look at that crust? What I'm talking about right there. A little foggy. Just look at it. Oh. That's what it's about. Reverse sear New York strip. So now they're out of the pan. I put butter on top of them. Then I cover them up. 